Hey, just got um, done with a, a long dog walk. Um, it's getting harder on my feet. Um, but I was thinking and I was praying. And um, what I saw today was really sad. I saw somebody that is so angry, so angry, so wounded, you know, so wounded that they can't see beyond their wounds and their own demons to grasp reality, that they continue to put their children as the carnage, weaponizing them, which damages them severely their self-esteem, their trust in themselves and their confidence to cultivate healthy, good relationships, to trust love, to... So, I, I, it's, I don't know, I just, I was really sad. And when I smiled at her, I was sincere. I was sincere. I wasn't smirking. I smirked at him in the... <laughs> Well, actually, I didn't. Actually, it was just a smile like that. So, call it a smirk. But but I was genuinely um, just be really peaceful today. And uh, he was clueless, though. Really clueless. Like, he didn't even know he has the burden of proof. I don't know. Really sad. But, and they don't have that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to deal with a court system that doesn't function well. And hopefully Judge Highland is intelligent and smart and knows the law and will put personal bias, which I know there is, on the side and do the right thing for two children who have been without a loving mother for two years now, over two years. My daughter's birthday is on the 22nd. The poor thing. I just can't even imagine and that's, that's why I call it child abuse, because for a child to make up false accusations, very scripted accusations of sexual abuse, it's, it's like what has to happen to them, you know? It's just so sad. And I want her to come in to herself. She's a Libra. She's all about justice. The problem with Libra is they tend to be people pleasers, so they can break under pressure, and we all know that children who are in the tween phase will easily break with the constant, constant battering of the psychologically unstable parent who's like a jackhammer. Oh, it was horrible. Poor baby. She was so tortured. Hated going back there. And then I think one day she gave up. I don't know. Just so sad. And I want her to grow into a beautiful, just, oh, she's beautiful regardless. But, you know, when you're when you're beautiful on the inside and you're more beautiful on the outside, which explains a lot about what I saw today. But, um, you know, I want her to grow up into a beautiful, well-adjusted, well-balanced, emotionally intelligent young woman who can take care of herself. Um, I was always totally independent. My ex would put me down because I'm on disability now, but I have a doctorate. <laughs> I have a doctorate. And this neuropathy is bad. And I keep going. I keep going. But it's bad. I can't, I can't practice anymore. Regardless, I can't bend at all without feeling my feet flare. So it's hard. There are days I'll take Nico on a little walk. I won't, I won't even look at rocks because then I have to bend down, <laughs> you know. But, um... Yeah, I just want my baby to grow up. We all want our children to grow up, to have a an abuse-free childhood filled with joy and good memories and not dysregulated nervous systems like what happens to her. And if you don't know, there's very good um, experts in Massachusetts, Dr. Chris Coloca, Jerry Wise, Dr. Lundy. Um, those are the three offhand who are very good, who can really help um, you understand coercive control and the toxic abuser. And a lot of the victims are women. women. And so it will sound that way. But, um, you know, that men aren't affected. But men are affected. And we know that. 
Men are abused also. I am becoming very close with some of them, work very close on this movement with some of them. So make sure you look on the community page because I will be starting now that I just learned how to share a video, like without recording the whole thing, I can share a video that I find really helpful. Like if you look there now, Marian Patree has the class action um, about uh, that's happening in California. And he talks about a Massachusetts case. I'm going to dive into it and talk to my lawyer about it and start studying that. And so look on the community page, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos because it pushes the content. And, you know, we we're doing pretty good. We have, I think 336 subscribers and um, it's really powerful how, you know, we're showing them we have an army and we know that I'm being watched. We know that I know that personally because of the video that was brought in front of Judge Gorman. So, you know, everybody, so I'm sure Highlands even watched some. What it comes down to is I mean no one any harm. I just want our children safe. I want the torture and torment for us to stop. I want the world to be a happy place, a peaceful place. And there's so much pain in the world right now. Anyway, um, so please, please try. I'm doing my best. You know, my fear is Highland will do anything to deny me because the system is going to target me because of how public I am on all platforms. And I'm taking that chance that at some point somebody's got to say, I got to do the right thing here. So we'll see. But it went really well today, and um, it was a pre-trial. Trial's in January. And um, if my kids see this, I'm not going to stop fighting for you. I love you. And the most painful thing you can do to a parent is to de deny them contact with their children. To, to grieve the loss of a child that's still alive. It's horrific. I love you, Julian. I love you, Jocelyn. Happy birthday, baby. And um, I won't stop fighting for you. Even if right now you have been com convinced that I'm a monster, you'll get it over time. And there's a lot of stuff out there you can watch that I've done that will help you understand more. And I only make certain videos child appropriate. You know, the ones that aren't, I don't put them as child appropriate, but you're not gonna be a child forever, baby. Getting big. All right. Love to everyone. Enjoy this, I think, last beautiful day. Bye-bye. <laughs> just wanted to add that we are organizing a class action lawsuit. Uh, we're probably going to uh, consult with a lawyer who did the one in California uh, for some help. We've got a couple of good lawyers on now. Uh, what we need from everybody, and you can message me or Larry Modello. He's in the private group Massachusetts Corruption Exposed. Um we need your na full name, address, and phone number. That's all we need to start. That's it, okay? We're going to have the lawyer. The lawyer will get your documents and stuff if you don't have um, possible audios or whatever. But we're, we're going forward because this is out of control. It's totally out of control nation nationwide. But in Massachusetts, um, it's just insane what's happening. So... Please get me that information. Uh, don't put it in the comments of this video. Like, you know, go to the about page on the, if, if you go to my YouTube channel, you will see a slew of links. One of them is community page. Another one is about. The about page should have my email that you can email me in. Um, it does have the email. Um, and, or you know me from, you know, one of the groups, one of the platforms. You can always... Tell me you need to reach me if you can't find me, and I'll get back to you and tell you how to get in touch with me on the comments of the video. But please, let's just get started. Let's get started with this because we're serious. We're done with the nonsense, and uh, we're moving forward. Thanks.